Devin Lerritt just recently put out a video on his channel, so if you haven't seen that, make sure to go check that out. But Devin discusses a lot of things in this video, one of which are some potential rule changes for the sport of arm wrestling that he thinks would be very beneficial. Let's take a listen to what Devin said and then discuss it. Please, before I get into this, understand that I completely accept my defeat. I do not think that I was screwed over by the refs. A lot of people think that the king's move is some unbeatable thing. So where the shoulder is underneath the table, this is considered a foul. Primarily because of safety reasons. This is the primary reason, safety. So I do find this whole concept very interesting. I really understand both sides of this because for a while we did have that whole King's Move controversy where it seemed like Michael Todd was just sitting on his bone lock position and the matches were becoming really boring. So I understand the immense fear that would be triggered by even hearing someone mention the idea of bringing back the King's Move, not just the normal King's Move, but the shoulder fully below the table King's Move, the King's Move that is so low you literally need a snorkel to survive while doing it. However, However, at the same time, I also understand that a lot of the moves in arm wrestling are based upon some sort of bone lock position. If you commit fully to a press position, if you do something like a Jerry Cataret style move, you're still relying on a bone lock. Even someone like Todd Hutchings is relying very heavily on that bone lock position. It's just that instead of in an extended position like in a King's move, he's relying more on his arm not breaking and his UCL not blowing apart. So Devin is making the case that if we're trying to base this rule around safety, it's kind of ridiculous to say that in a professional arm wrestling class where people are putting their bones and joints on the line all the time anyway. So if the only concern is safety, I 100% agree with Devin that the shoulder below the table king's move should be legal. However, this does not address the entertainment perspective as much, and Devin does cover this as well. Now, Devin does not seem to think that the King's move is so good or so broken or overpowered that it warrants an entire ban of it. Devin says that the King's move is a trick just like a lot of other moves in arm wrestling, and if you fall for that trick, it's going to look unbeatable, but if you don't fall for that trick, it's not going to look unbeatable. And a great example of this is that we have seen King's movers lose all the time. Michael Todd was not entirely undefeated, even when you were allowed the King's move with your shoulder below the table. So the King's move is certainly not some invincible move that no one can do anything about. However, I also understand that it probably is not the prettiest move from an entertainment perspective. And Devin does make clear that along with a King's move rule, he also thinks that we should get rid of the rule that you can't bring your shoulder past the center line of the table to kind of balance this out for inside and outside arm wrestling. So let me know what you guys think about all this, because I do understand the concerns about the King's move or even bringing your shoulder so far forward that you're past the edge of your opponent's side of the table. This is going to look a little bit ridiculous, especially to new viewers who have never seen arm wrestling before. If we have a King's move versus a flop press match where both of these things are happening. However, at the same time, I think that in a sport, the fewer rules that you have total, the easier it's going to be on the referees to call and the more consistency you're going to have. You're going to greatly lower the risk of a match ending entirely based on fouls because nobody wants to see that. I think that in general, freedom is a good thing and unless we absolutely have to, we probably should not be restricting what an athlete can do. So I guess we'll see what happens with this. Personally, I don't really care that much which way the rules go on this. I would be fine in either circumstance. But let me know what you guys think about this.